it's day 126 and uh, I'm back building in an uh, easygoing fashion. Uh, I got the last of the tongue and groove up and uh, for this wall here we're looking at doing it in um, cedar boards. Uh, also started in on the woodshed which I'll need to start filling up pretty soon in preparation for winter. The uh, rain seems to have uh, clamped down out here on the west coast where all grumbling about the raw deal we're getting this summer, but uh, ironically it's uh, often um, crystal clear up here while it's socked in down south, but I think uh, my gloating's caught up with me and uh, we're in for a wet spell, uh, which just means I'm going to have to put the wool pants back on and uh, continue with the building. Um, but a while back someone asked uh, if I thought I was healthier uh, having uh, come up here. And uh, that would have seemed like an easy answer, but I thought uh, perhaps uh, I could state more objectively through some metrics. Um, the first metric would probably be weight. Um, I haven't been on a scale for about a month, but the last time I was in someone's uh, uh, place uh, taking a shower, I stepped on theirs and uh, I weighed in at 178 pounds, which is about five pounds uh, heavier than I was before I came up. I was also pretty lean. I'd uh, joined a CrossFit group uh, near Boston for a couple months before uh, heading up to Haida Gwaii. Uh, but what I can say is I'm definitely taller. I'm uh, now about 6'1", if you include the hair. And uh, yeah, if you look at the uh, ratio of muscle to fat, using my fingers as calipers, I can state that I cannot pinch an inch. And um, well, I'm wearing a pair of pants that I wore in college. Uh, so that would seem to be a pretty good sign. Um, on the uh, strength front, uh, yeah, I, it's not like I'm benching 350 now or anything like that. Uh, but the chainsaw uh, does feel lighter than when I first started. I did bring three pairs of running shoes with me and managed to go running once uh, since I got here when I was laid up with tennis elbow. But I have been spending uh, good long sessions out on the paddleboard. And all I can really say is uh, that I huff and puff less uh, humping wood up to the cabin. Uh, my diet uh, took a bit of a nosedive when I first got here. Uh, as a, probably a function of being both cold and uh, just generally voracious. Uh, I was eating pretty much everything I could get my hands on. Uh, but there's probably no excuse for uh, eating an entire bag of jujubes on a drive back home from town. Uh, but I've cleaned up my diet since then. Um, for a while there I was eating steak and eggs all the time, probably spiked my cholesterol. Uh, but now I'm eating uh, more wild meat, uh, locally grown produce, uh, eggs from the Mennonites, free range eggs, and uh, such things as fresh salmon. Uh, but you know, also um, most social interactions here uh, tend to begin and end with uh, the cracking of a beer vitamin P as uh, certain bush brew is uh, known in these parts. On a side note, the uh, insulated bags those uh, cans come in make for excellent tool bags. But yeah, really, I uh, uh, can only say that I feel healthier. Uh, my nose is uh, wet and my coat is shiny and all that. But I, I look at people who've been living this kind of lifestyle for years, uh, specifically Rich and Lisa. Uh, Rich is uh, older than my father. Uh, in his late 60s and uh, can do everything I can do and probably more. Uh, and Lisa, she's uh, 5'0", uh, but looks and feels to be a person a decade younger. So this is all done without um, any sort of uh, dieting or uh, going to the gym to watch CNN on a treadmill. Uh, I think that's, that's the real proof of the healthfulness of uh, this kind of living. Uh, I guess the real test though will be what happens uh, this winter when there's, uh, there's uh, a lot more dark time and time alone in the cabin. Uh, but now I'm going to go out and uh, push out some uh, reps with the hammer and superset with the chainsaw. Try and get some wood up. Anyway, I will talk to you later this week, Thursday. <laughs>